Alright, what is going on guys? It is the Tuesday Reset and there is a little cutscene uh, for the end of season. So, I've not included it in the video. It's like, you guys can load up the game, go watch it. Um, pretty cool. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, right, that's your, that's your spoiler chance. Um, so if you don't want to hear spoilers, I would skip ahead like 10 seconds. Or don't. But Osiris is back. He's back awake. Like, I called it at the very beginning of the season that we'd use those like relic things, whatever the hell they were called. Um, to basically bring Osiris back. So yeah, Osiris is back in play. So that's pretty good. So next season, expect to see some Osiris stuff is uh, what I'm going to say. And you really wouldn't surprise me. So, on with reset. So, let's see what we have this week in the store. Now, I've got a lot of engrams. <laughs> so, we're going to hand these in and see what we get. Nightmare Stalker. Okay. Alright, we got one good thing out of all those engrams. Sweet. Pretty sure this was available last week to purchase or the week before or something. Very recently, I didn't end up getting it, so. <laughs> um, got it now, though. A lot of trash ships. Cool. Okay, so, let's see what we've got in the store this week. We have the Welded Brass Shader. We have a Leviathan's Breath Ornament. We have the Omen of Saturn, which is like a Telesto sort of sparrow. It's pretty cool. Moving on to the Bright Dust. We have Fiddler's Dance. Crack out the violin. You better like smash the violin on the floor at the end of the stop emote. Oh no, it just takes a bow. Okay. <laughs> smash it on the ground! Great stuff, dance. There's no stop thing for that. Let's see, we'll say a lightweight custom. I really like the trail on that. That's sick. Womp womp. <laughs> um, we have the Zeno. Yes. <laughs> we have this thing. Pretty cool. Then we have uh, Insurmountable Skull Fort ornament. What was that? I can spam preview on an ornament. Since when? And we have the uh, Skyburner's Oath ornament. I saw like a Keitel themed one, that's pretty cool. Oh, Honor of the Empress, yeah. <laughs> that would make sense. Uh, Moonbound Projection. Pyramid Entrance. The Dieto Capsule Entrance. Signal Processed. Smudge Pot Bruise, Copper Tone Patina, very shiny boy, and um, we have First Light Shader, it's a Season of the Opulence tra uh, say, uh, Shader, isn't it? Definitely pick that up if you don't have it, the Rare Shader. Then we've got the Vibrant Beach, which I'm pretty sure we had last week, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, moving on. So, with it being the final week, so if we go over to the season, six days. So, the new season is next week. And, of course, with it being the new season and this being the last week, we have double Gambit ranks. We have double Vanguard ranks. And... Double Crucible ranks, so if you need to level up any of those to get the ornaments or even to get the weapon, um, then get in there, get them done. Yeah, double ranks. If you need materials, farm one of them, smash through the ranks and get yourself some materials. So we'll start off with Vanguard this week. We have Void Singe, Stasis Singe for the Pinnacles. The Grandmaster this week is Fallen Sabre. Barrier and Overloads, Arachno, Shaft, 
uh, match game, equipment lock, extinguish, limited revives, champions mob, arc and void shields, double vanguard rank as well, and it is an acute arc burn. Uh, moving on to gambit, got gambit, but we also have the double gambit rank. Crucible, we have Control, Survival, Rumble, Elimination, and Team Scorched. And also double Crucible rank. So get in there if you need to rank up your Crucible. Um, we will go with Val the Disciple. Yep. So it's Val the Disciple, meaning the Exotic Pulse, um, which I can't remember the name of. I've top of my head <laughs> it's just it's just gone uh, that is farmable this week so if you don't have the exotic pulse from Val also red boxes I believe would be farmable because if you're just hammering out that same boss and it's going to drop weapons uh, or any boss you want to farm a certain boss for a certain weapon they'll be farmable for the red boxes so if you still need to craft anything from this raid then get in there get farming this week moving on to the dungeon uh, it's going to not be Pit of Heresy. We're going to have Duality anyway. Um, ooh, what dungeon is it? It's not the one on the moon again, is it? No. Where is it Duality? No, because Duality will come out of rotation next season. Is it going to be Prophecy? It is Prophecy! Hey, so it's Prophecy Dungeon this week. But yeah, next season we're getting a new dungeon, if you guys weren't aware. Uh, so duality will be coming out of the permanent pinnacle gear. I still need the sword from that, which won't drop. Um, so that'll be coming out of the uh, out of just being pinnacle, and then we'll be entering the rotational uh, pinnacle dungeons. Um, obviously, we have King's Fall. We have the grass is always greener, which I believe is totems. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Um, and obviously, as always, make sure you're picking up your Dares of Eternity, Running Legend, we've got Cabal, Taken, and then Vex as the final boss for that one. So make sure you're running them for your red boxes. I still need, alright, this is it's bugging me, I've been playing all day, I need one BXR Battler to craft it. And it's bugging me because I've got a basic BXR battler, <laughs> and it's just it's it's not up to scratch. It's not got kill clip on. It's not got any of the rolls that I do want. It's not right PVE one. It's got heating up and uh, I can show you heating up and incandescent. Using it a little bit, using it a little tiny little bit in Crucible, and I'm just like I don't want to use it anymore because it's like I want the good roll because I'll just end up going to this and just leaving it as that and getting used to that. But I want I want the uh, the god roll for it, which is obviously craftable. But yeah, before this week ends, make sure you're going over to Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit, picking up any of these materials that you haven't just yet, as they're going away. Obviously, with the new season starting, so if you've not picked them up, they're gone. So make sure you grab them. It's like these here, boom. I can grab those. And actually, not far off ranking up. So what I like to do, because it's double ranks for each one, is I like to reset each one, if I've not already. So that's very close to being ranked up, so I'll probably do this last. So, yeah, that's the way I do it. Let's have a look and see what Gunsmith has before we end off. So again, boom. Alright, I've got a decent amount to collect. <laughs> Okay, so he has a Scathlock. I've not seen him with a Scathlock for a while. Heating up an Eye of the Storm. That could be worth a grab for PvP. Pended Mag as well. Tactical Mag as well, actually. That could be worth a grab for PvP. We have Shepherd's Watch with Tunnel Vision opening shot. Contingency Plan with Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip. Alloy Mag. That might be worth a pick up. Um, don't know why that's a perk, it just is, ruins that gun. <laughs> uh, Palmar B, lasting impression, if you haven't got a decent rocket launcher and you're very new to the game, pick that up, lasting impression, it's obviously craftable as well, but if you're new to the game you won't be able to craft it just yet, so 
pick that up. And then we have Impulse Amplifier and Explosive Light on a Typhon. Worth picking up if you like grenade launchers. That Explosive Light for the increased damage and then you got the Impulse Amplifier which is going to increase your projectile velocity. Quick Launch Mini Frags. Uh, I'd probably go with the Augmented Drum with Quick Launch on that one. You got a Velocity Roll as well. Interesting. I you might pick that up. So I've not really give... You know what? I'm grabbing it. I've not really give grenade launchers the light of day. Quite recently. So I might I might uh, use that and see what the damage is like. <laughs> Just to mix things up a little bit. Keep things fresh. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for the reset videos today. So... If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.